said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. In the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. A very warm welcome to you all to the parish church of St. Peter and Paul here in Enfield Block, which was, uh, up until her illness, the spiritual home of our dear departed sister Monica. As we come together to give thanks for her life, to give thanks for the special memories that from today onwards we will treasure of her. To give thanks to God for the many joys and blessings experienced in her presence. We're here as well to pray for her as she embarks upon the next stage of her pilgrimage. The pilgrimage that will take her to the place that the Lord has prepared for her where there is no more suffering, no more crying, no more pain, and where she may rest in peace. So it is good to welcome you here to this place, as I said, that was Monica's spiritual home. But I'm bidden to say that as we begin our worship, because of the numbers of people in church and the Church of England's desire to keep as best as possible social distancing uh, within churches. Uh, we are unable to allow viewing of the, the body uh, within church this morning. So please, I hope you will understand and forgive me for that. I totally understand that it is of your culture, but I hope you will understand that due to the pandemic and the continuing rise of the virus in this area, uh, we are to comply with those guidelines. So as we come together to <coughs> honour Monica and to pray for her, let's begin by keeping a brief moment in silence before Almighty God in thanksgiving for her life. Let us pray. Listen to our prayers, Lord, as we humbly beg your mercy that the soul of your servant Monica, whom you have called from this life, may be brought by you to a place of peace and light, and so be enabled to share in the life of all your saints through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who suffered and died for her, but rose again to save us all and is now alive and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit in glory for ever and ever. Amen. We're now going to remain standing to sing the hymn on your service sheet, It Is Well With My Soul.
always taught me that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you always put people before yourself as you always help others around you. It still hasn't come to reality that you're okay, not here with us. However, I know you'll be watching over us. <laughs> My mum always had this amazing sense of humour and contagious laugh that would brighten up a room. You could never be upset around her for too long. We will make sure to do you proud. I know you have fought a good, a good fight through the process. Trusting in God's plan is all I will continue to do. As it says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and always acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Words can't convey how much we miss you and I wish you was here with us. I love you, Mum, and I know you'll forever remain in our hearts. I'll make sure to do you and Dad proud. Thank you. something to think about. Every summer, my mom would plan us to go to different countries each year. She was planning to take us to Spain in 2020, but due to COVID and our becoming weaker and due to her illness, we was not able to go. My mom was a big part of our lives. She took care of us even though she didn't have the money, but she always found a way. No matter what, she would always put my brothers and her my brothers and I before herself. Anytime me and my brothers weren't feeling too well, she would always make sure we were okay. My mum used to crack jokes and they would always make us laugh. I hope she rests in peace and I hope you, and hopefully I'll make her proud in the future. <laughs> Mummy was a thoughtful, very funny and caring person. Even though she was taking care of us by herself, she still managed to make us happy. She was the best mum we could ever have. Without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I think it will be the same for a lot of people. She is, a kind, she is kind and filled with joy. I have a few memories to show you why my mum is so brilliant. I remember when we went to France. I didn't even say I wanted to go there, but she just picked that and knew we would love it. And we did, because so, it had a lot of fun stuff there. She also isn't just caring when it comes to her family. She was caring for most people. She, uh, she was caring for most people as well. I remember when she used to pick me up from school, she would check up on my friends and, and their parents too. And also, sometimes this would happen when she would take me to football training. Most people can't even do the, f most people can't even, or won't even do the things my mum do. This message is to tell you a bit about my beautiful mum and how she did so much for people and her family and why she deserves her rest. 
I just want to make her proud one day and someday go meet her again. My mom, may my mom enjoy her time with God and rest in peace. I love you, mom. Well done. and place our trust firmly in him. Today we might be like St. Thomas, understandably, I say to you. Lord, we do not know the way, so how can we know where you are going? How can we know the way? It's understandable at times like this, when we might have our doubts, when we might be unsure, why does this happen to us? Why has this happened to our Lord? Why has this happened so prematurely? Why? We can only trust in God's skill and in his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who tells us, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Faith in God the kind of faith that Monica had. Powerful, strong, undetermined, undeniable faith is the thing that will comfort us in our sorrow and grief. Trust in God still and trust in the Lord Jesus, who is the way, who is the truth, and who is the life. For out of death and sorrow and despair, only true faith in him can bring us to new life, new joy, and new peace. Amen. So now let us pray for Monica, firm in our faith in Jesus Christ and in his promises to bring us to new and everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord our God, we thank you and praise you for the life and faithful witness to you of our dear departed sister Monica. For all that you achieved through her in her life. For the many blessings that she enjoyed during this short life. Not least for the great blessings of her family, friends and loved ones for the happy times we spent in her company and the special memories that from now on we will treasure of her. We thank you for all the blessings enjoyed in her company. And we pray now that you will bring her to that place that you have prepared for her, where there is no more suffering, no more crying, and no more pain, and where she may rest in peace. God, the Almighty Father, raised his Son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. And so with confidence, we ask him now to save all his people, living and departed. And especially this, our sister Monica. We ask you, Lord, who recall the dead to life, to grant eternal life now to our sister Monica. Lead her, washed by the waters of baptism, into the company of your saints. Bring her, nourished by the sacred food of your own body and blood in the blessed sacrament of the altar, to the banquet of your eternal kingdom. Welcome her into the sanctuary of heaven. We pray for Monica's family and especially 
for her sons, Alvin, Darius, and Virgil. For her brothers and their families. For her close loved ones and all who mourn her lost year today. We ask that you will comfort them through the power of your spirit. Help them to place all their cares, their sorrow, and their grief upon you, and know the consolation of your love at work in their lives. Grant that we who mourn and pray for Monica today may be consoled by faith and strengthened by the hope of everlasting love. We pray for all who have gathered here to worship you in faith. Lord, make us one with you, in our turn, in your eternal good. Lord Jesus, you willingly gave yourself up to them, so that all people might be saved and pass from death into new life. Listen to our prayers. Look with love now on these your people, who mourn and pray for Monica today. Lord Jesus, you alone are holy and compassionate. Forgive her her sins. By dying you open the gates of life to those who believe in you. Do not let Monica be part of God, but by your glorious power give her light and joy and peace in heaven, where you live forever and forever. Amen. Amen. And now let us join all our prayers to our heavenly Father in the words our Savior himself has given. As we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so, in a moment of silence, let us offer our prayers to God for our sister Monica as we commend her soul to his merciful keeping. Heavenly Father, by your mighty power you gave us life, and in your great love you have given us new life in Christ Jesus. We trust, Monica, to your merciful keeping, in the faith of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever. Amen. Amen. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this. Happy are those who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth they may rest from their labours, for they take with them the record of their deeds. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all as we lay to rest our sister Monica. Lord God, through your great mercy, those who have lived in faith find eternal peace. Bless this grave and send your angel to watch over it. As we lay to rest our sister Monica, welcome her into your presence and with your saints in heaven, let her rejoice in you forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alvin is not here yet. Saints of God, come to her aid. Come to greet her angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Monica, may Christ who called you take you to himself. May the angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine upon her forever. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church living and departed in the Lord Jesus to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal Gentlemen, thank you. My dear friends, we have now entrusted our sister Monica to God's merciful people. And so we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust. Certain hope for the resurrection to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever and ever. God will show us the path of life. In his presence, the fullness of joy. At his right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May her soul, with the souls of all the faithful departed, 
through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And now may God's holy angels guard you, protect you, and watch over you and all who you love this day. May Blessed Mary, St. Peter, St. Paul, and all God's saints pray for you. And may the Lord God Almighty bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks. I don't I